Welcome to a Vanguard news video without the bullshit. Let's get started. The Vanguard will dress anime's third season will premiere on 8th July 2023. Is it just me, or does Megumi been pushed further to the background? Like Jinky vs Tanji, Sophie vs Raika, Alona vs Irera, Masanori vs Toya, and Zakusa vs Tomori makes sense, but Megumi is just squeezed between Toya and Megumi, like she's trying to be important. In Borsha Road tradition of self-promoting their own talents, the new opening will be done by Garoksha, and the ending by Helona's voice actor Hinaraki which she's is also set to debut in a new Bang Dream anime this month. Ironic how Borsha Road loves to use other companies' IP for their various card game properties, but won't let any other music label to do their Annie songs anymore. I normally don't cover the Japanese tournament scene, but this year's second half of WGP will only have standard format as its only division for Vanguard despite recently releasing History Collection. While the English players still loves to play VN Premium formats, this is a sign that Bush Road may not support these formats in the future anymore. Get those visa passports approved months in advance, and be able to finally meet different fight in person, as the 2023 World Championships will be held in Japan in February 2024. It's time for every content creator's favorite 10-minute discussion video segment, the latest ban list in Japan. V Premium didn't get anything hit, because it's basically on life support. Meanwhile Fujin and Raijin got limited to one copy in standard, because Monster Strike is causing Borsha Road to not post pictures of the deck in their official top deck graphs and charts. And Karinus got banned in premium due to an apparent infinite loop with this altar. Guess they haven't seen my video about D-series Dindrain yet. Those hoping that Best Harvest gets limited will just have to wait for the English ban list. The loner fans who were expecting her to play a potential new waifu deck will have a rude awakening. It seems that she's playing what looks like Griffo Gilla's bastard child in DBT12 called Evil Eye Dragon Amina Gruzio. At least the speculation about her playing Dark States could be true. And who knows, maybe once Irara crits her into being friends again, she'll play an actual waifu card. So there's hope for you lonely men yet. Like with DBT11. DBT12 will also contain reprints of cards, but using artwork from various illustrators for Young Animal magazine. And yes, the Dark States one seems to be made by the same illustrator as Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid. As for what these cards could be, your guess is good as mine, though I theorize this could potentially be reprints of the right deck fodder's cards in DBT10. In a shocking surprise nobody expected, the quintessential quintuplets will be having a collab with Vanguard, probably to promote their upcoming new spin-off series. DBT12 will have a total of 32 cards for this collab for the 5 nations. So it's going to suck, if your favorite Nakano sister is in a different nation. If I once again have to theorize, Itsuki will be Dragon Empire, Yotsuba will be Keta Sanctuary, Miku will be Brandgate, Nino will be Stoikeia, and Ichika will be Dark States. Don't ask me how I got these conclusions, only that Ichika is a spoiler. DBT13's cover has been revealed to nobody's surprise, is another new fucking vire in a form. DBT13 will also feature Lionorn and Youthburk's new forms. From left to right, we have RK Fla Lion on Vivache, Flame Holy Sword equipped Stravirina, and Youth Burk Revolve form Full Blast. Lion on getting a third form this quick feels like an apology for how bad her mask's form was. And Youth Burk mains will be either be glad or sad for not getting a mask's form. Glad because they won't have to spend money on Mask of Hydrogram. Sad because they can't go full edge lord on their opponent. And like the previous booster sets, DBT13 will also have a collab with another magazine publisher, this time with Monthly Afternoon. The publisher behind such series as Gunsmith Cats, Genshinkan, Parasite, Knights of Sidonia, and Oh My Goddess. We riot if we don't get a Catarangel unit, that looks like Beld and E. Time to sharpen those pointy pencils of yours this Halloween season as DLBT04 has finally been announced. These new ride lines from left to right are called Triple Trick Fennel, Levser Charmort, and Gorgonize Shiana. Funny how there are three kinds of Halloween cosplayer tropes the cute cuddly furry, the slutty witch One San, and the hybrid Frankenstein snake lady. Wait, that last one sounds crazy but amazing. Meanwhile, Forsha and Hermione are Misty Stir, but are making up for it this Halloween. 
and the Bush erode censorship mandates continue as they made Herminia hide her bagassettes behind her hand, just to hold a lollipop suggestively. Get those old SP Strider cards ready. DSS 09 and 10 will be a new Stride deck set consisting of Shiranui Boro and Lord. You heard right, Shiranui Boro, meaning that the Dominate mechanic is coming to the D series. Let's just hope it's a watered down version much like the lock mechanic. And Shadow Paladin is truly Bush Road's favorite child as Lured is a second in counter deck for the clan. Meanwhile Asher and Nitro's mains are dying of thirst, while watching another clan drown in support. These decksets will also contain leaves instead of the usual acrylic markers which makes them even better in terms of value. Expect the English version however to remove them. Bush Road continues to release promo cards for V Premium, in order to sell the illusion that it isn't going away. For the month of July it's for Oracle Think Tank and Grand Blue. Administrative Angel once per turn while on Vanguard or Rearguard lets you pay one counter blast when he attacks while boosted, to add up to one card from the top three cards of your deck then place the rest on top or bottom of your deck. And while in your hand, you can discard himself at the beginning of your ride phase, if your vanguard is grade 1 or lower, to add up to one grade 2 card from the top 5 cards of your deck. This could have done some serious good for the clan, but it's too late now. Riveting French once per turn while on vanguard or rearguard lets you pay one counter blast, when she attacks while boosted, to call up to one card with a different name from her in your drop zone. And while in your hand, you can discard herself at the beginning of your ride phase, if your vanguard is grade 1 or lower, to add up to 1 grade 2 card from the top 5 cards of your deck. V premium might be dying, but this could actually do some nasty combos in premium like the old days. Dear days brats will be happy to know that the game hasn't been abandoned, and DBT08 up to DBT10 as well as DSS04 will be coming as future paid DLC. Meanwhile I'm still waiting for any of the previous DLC to go on sale on Steam, because I refuse to pay full price for locked content on a full price game. Each box of DSS 0628 will contain one copy of these reprinted cards such as Kerber, Gracious Gradale, and Brainwash Swirler. But the real winner is Orphist's deck set which has over 4 sought after cards. As usual Brandgate gets the best shit even in reprints. Speaking of reprints, Best Harvest, Langdi Chap, and Elmer are also getting reprints with new artwork. I'm guessing Best Harvest isn't getting limited anytime soon, and Bush Road must have been forced to alter the artwork after some parent probably complained it looked like a western school shooting. And along with this three reprints also comes three new promo cards. Impudence Lysa while on rear guard, lets you pay one counter blast, while you have a Bruce vanguard and your opponent's vanguard is grade 3 or higher, to ride a grade 4 Bruce from either your deck solo or drop zone, then put this card into your deck. And while on the guardian circle, she gets 10k shields, if you have a grade 4 Bruce vanguard. Besides the fact that Bush Road is trying to make players go back to playing the grade 4 Bruce, I'm seriously calling bullshit on this random ass artwork they used for this. This clearly isn't Diabolus themed both in name and artwork, it's like the development team just threw whatever was in their Dark State image asset folder. Security upgrader while on rear guard lets you retire itself while you have a grade 3 or higher Seraph Vanguard and you haven't rode this turn to ride a grade 4 seraph from either your deck soul or drop zone. Then your opponent puts one card in their drop zone into your prison and the cost of your hidden unit this turn is decreased by one counter blast. Unlike Impudent Slicer, this actually still looks in theme with the deck. Finally, Sage of Progress Robern while on rear guard lets you pay one counter blast and putting her into your soul if you have a bastion vanguard and your opponent is grade 3 or higher to write a grade 4 Bastion card from your hand. Seems that Bastion just can't catch a break, since this only lets you ride Bastion Prime from hand, and does nothing else. But then you realize going primal a turn early might be too good considering you can output at least 5 attacks that are at least 30k power. And that concludes this Vanguard news video. Be sure to scrub scribe and let me know in the comments how this info dump was worth sitting through 2 weeks of Sword Boys.